this truck's been on the EV rally, it's the E-Actros 400, uh, and on the rally, unfortunately, you didn't have a lot of payload, and one of the big criticisms when you're driving a truck is the fact that an electric truck oh, it doesn't have any payload. Well, EV rally also went from London, and it went through up to Newcastle and all over the rest of the, over the country, and it went through what I would say was pretty um, flat territory, Cambridgeshire, Leicestershire, the nor uh, northern home counties. So, I think what we need to do is give it a real tough test. So what we decided to do, this vehicle has got payload in it. Yes, we're going to do a test with payload. That's what trucks should have. Roughly, payload is about 14 tonnes. So we've put 50% in there. So we've put seven tonnes on, which is really reflective of, you know, normal uh, um, uh, operations within the truck market. And this time, we're going to give it an even tougher test. We're going to start off at Barnsley, the Mercedes-Benz um, distribution centre. And what we're going to do is going to go across the M62. Yes, they're up vanilla. Then we're going to go to Blackpool and then up the M6. Yes, we're also going to go up Shap, very famous in the UK, obviously, or in England. And then we're going to go up to Carlisle and across to Newcastle. So we're not going to go flat. We're going to put payload in it and we're going to go up and down Dale. And we're going to see what it actually does in real life. Hope you enjoy it. So there we are at the top of Sham uh, and we've been there. Don't forget, we've got a 50% load of which equates to about seven tons. Um, now at this moment in time, we've got we've got 132 kilowatt hours per hundred mile, which means it's 1.32 kilowatts per mile. Now, we started off at the bottom at 124 kilowatt hours per mile. So it's really taking some energy out of it. But this is the important thing is, I'm showing 46% state of charge of the battery. Mercedes-Benz with the prediction tool says by the time we get to Penrith, and those of you know Sharp, Top of Sharp to Penrith is not that far away. It had us at 39.7%. We're actually at 46. So I suspect, give or take your percentage, we're actually going to be straight on line with what that. I mean, 46% at the moment gives me an extra 123 miles. So we're going to go from Penrith over to Scotch Corner, uh, and then after that, we're going to be just seeing how far we can get Darlington, Durham, Newcastle, uh, and see take it right to the, that last minute. Anyway, hope you're enjoying it. Okay, here we are at one of our waypoints, Penrith, just getting off at Junction 40. Now, according to the Mercedes-Benz uh, prediction. Um, tool, we should have been at 39%, we're actually at 45%. So we've done, uh, it's now at 127.8 kilowatt hours per, per 100 miles, so 1.27 kil, uh, kilowatt hours per mile. And so, I mean, you know, we've been on in range function, um, we've been, it's been reasonably horrible weather, it's been quite windy, we've had the windscreen wipers on, so it's been a, just a normal day, if you like, on the motorway, and we've had about five miles of uh, backed up traffic, so, you know, we've had all, all the sort of things that go on normally on a motorway that have been thrown at us. So to say the fact that it's 6% ahead of where the tool was going to take us, with, say, seven tons of payload, it's quite impressive. Well, what have we learned? 127 kilowatt hours per 100 miles equates to 0.793 kilowatt hours per kilometer. And officially, with a 50% payload, the Mercedes-Benz R&D team predict it would do 249 miles. Well, it did 303, 20% more. But more importantly, this was uphill and down dale, even including Shap, and also going into urban areas such as Blackpool and Darlington, and typical of many 6x2 box fine operations and also it was raining and it was windy as well now looking at my ev rally consumption with the same vehicle empty it was 0.672 kilowatt hours per kilometer this means it took an extra 18 percent of energy to accommodate the seven ton payload now i know what people are thinking it's the same as myself ah tim this doesn't include the very expensive difference between a diesel and an electric truck which can be normally around two to three times, and also building of the infrastructure and the energy costs. So the TCO also has to be done. But this wasn't the aim of the drive. I wanted to test that truck with some, some payload in it rather than empty and see if the Mercedes-Benz figures could be believed. 
And from these results, on the whole, it appears that they can be. But this isn't the end. I'd also like to do the same for other manufacturers. So watch this space.